Africa TV changed its company name to Soup this year, so we will not be getting an ASL season 18. Instead, we are getting the Soup 2024 autumn season and the qualifiers were just played in August. I watched all 10 hours of the qualifier VODs so that you don't have to. Here are the big events, upsets, and exciting moments that you missed, so you'll be ready for the round of 24 beginning August 26th. First up, Flash did not attempt to qualify for the SSL this season, although he was featured prominently in some of the mid-roll promotional materials during the qualifiers. I have a really good feeling that he'll be back in 2025, fully prepared and ready to win. Zero, aka Queen, who suffered a lot of humiliation last season after his dismal early defeat by a nameless Terran player, 2 owed both Scan and Free to qualify on day one. Barracks blew me away with a decisive win over Action in the Group E finals. Action tried to hold a quick three bases and defend Barracks's tank push with Guardians, but Barracks cut through the defenses like a hot knife through butter at the perfect timing, securing his seat in the round of 24. Calm met C in the Group H semifinals and had an embarrassing loss in game number two. Calm was dominating with Mutas and even had a worker lead but forgot to burrow his lurker at his third base, which allowed C to barely sneak out a win and proceed to the finals where he lost to Rain 2-0. Stork, who has been knocked out of the round of 24 the past three seasons in a row, managed to 2-0 mind in the Group G semifinals, showcasing a more refined shuttle style, stoking hopes for a Stork round of 16 run this season. Whoa! Whoa! Shine was up to his old tricks with the two hatch muta into Lurker all in that almost clutched the victory against Rush. It came down to a final game in which this series of unfortunate events occurred. Failure to egg block the ramp caused Shine to lose, punching Rush's ticket to the round of 24. Organ, aka Piano, faced off against JYJ in the finals and tried a really fancy proxy factory bust where he hid one factory out on the map and tried to break into the natural with the goliaths. He floated his barracks over the bunker to try and prevent JYJ from repairing, but the best laid plans fell apart when JYJ popped out a quick tank to start sniping the goliaths. Game two, Organ tried a cheesy proxy two racks in the center of the map, but in both games, JYJ's impeccable scouting and response allowed him to breeze by into the group stages. Bisu, Jadong, and all these others qualified by the end of day one, leaving the rest to prepare for their last chance to qualify the following day. Day two, Shine passed with flying colors, defeating Zealot 2-0 in the finals. I'm a big fan of Shine and his unorthodox strategies, so I'm super happy that he made it through. Quickly faced YSC in Group C and won Game 1, but lost to a skillful DT play in Game 2. The final game of the series was very tight and action-packed, with explosive Dragoon Reaver mid-game play, wherein YSE managed to slowly gain the upper hand and eventually found the closer. Sad to see quickly not make it in this season, but I have high hopes for him for the future. Speed and Killer gave us a fantastic series in Group Q, where both players showcased their exceedingly aggressive styles. In Game 1, Speed was able to take out Killer's third base, but Killer managed to get on top of Speed's production, killing multiple barracks and slowing down his tech significantly. It looked over until the follow-up Lurker bus failed and Speed regained control of the game. It ended with a daring maneuver from Speed, running through Dark Swarm at the natural to snuff out Killer. Game two, Speed killed five of Killer's drones within eight racks and transitioned into a 1-1-1 and Vulture drop. Killer tried a desperate counter drop into Speed's main, but the lead was already too large, and Speed crushed him with a follow-up marine tank push and advanced to the group stages. Scan upset expectations when he beat Bishop 2-0 and faced Mong in the group R finals. Game number three, he executed some excellent Wraith Micro, and using the barracks to cover the armory, forced Mong to make a second one in order to produce Goliaths. With a staggering 20 worker lead, he slowly closed the noose on Mong and forced him to capitulate in the mid game. This marks the second time that Scan has qualified for the round of 24. The last time was in ASL 11. Mihu was the foreigner who managed to make it deepest in the qualifiers this season. The Chinese Terran lost to Yabsab in the semifinals of Group S and Action defeated Yabsab 2-0 in the finals. 
It was a big surprise to some that Motive managed to qualify for the ASL for the first time ever by taking out Ruin and Leda in the finals of Group U. I've watched a lot of Motive games on the channel, and I'm really excited to see his performance this season. And finally, the biggest and most unexpected upset of the qualifiers happened in Group X. But before I tell you those results, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I do a ton of casting and other Brood War content here, and we'd love to have you with us. So this guy from Wiko Clan named 1127. If you played on the ladder or watched Artosis' stream, you might know something about Wiko Clan, but he beat Gamo 2-1, Terror 2-0, and met Calm in the finals. Calm beat Xiao Shuai and Hyun to make it there, and in that final, Wiko 1127 played out of his mind. He took game one, and in game two, he played pure mech, which Calm tried to counter with Muta, Hydra, and eventually Queens. 1127 didn't give any time for the Queens to gather their energy, and struck the killing blow just as Calm was coming online, and our Dark Horse player for the round of 24 made it through. If history is any indicator, he'll probably get knocked out right away, but it's always fun to have a relatively unknown player make it through like this. So here's everyone who made it through on day two, and that's basically the end of the recap. For those of you who want to hear my round of 24 predictions, stick around a little longer because those groups have just been announced. All right, for group A, I think I'm gonna predict that Queen and Rain will make it through, which wouldn't be a surprise to anybody. A Dark Horse is fun to have, but I wouldn't place any stock in him making it through this group. Barracks is excellent in TVZ, but his TVP leaves something to be desired. So what I'm thinking is group B, Mini and Bisu should be able to stomp out the Terran players in their group to advance here. Don't get me wrong, I have a lot of love for both Scan and Sock, but Bisu's PVT has been frightening lately, and Mini is a regular round of four players, so I'm gonna go with my gut and say that two Protosses make it out of this group. Now, this group is slightly harder to call, but I would say the favorites are Russian Royal without a doubt. Motive playing for his first time on the big stage would be under a lot of pressure, and Saxory, uh, in my estimation, cannot handle the pressure brought by either of these two fantastic Terran players. Group D, well, this group is hard to call, but I'm leaning towards Best in Action as favorites. Action did lose to Barracks in the qualifiers, so maybe he can give some tips to speed? Help him make it through? I don't put much stock in C being able to advance, considering his performance last season and his difficulty qualifying this season. Actually, call me crazy, but I'm going to change my prediction to Best in Barracks making it through to the round of 16. Group E could be one of the best groups in the round of 24, and hardest to predict. Jadong only dropped a single game in the qualifiers, but didn't really get tested by his relatively weaker group. Shine has been showing a lot of promise lately, and I think his standard game has come a long way. YSC, I don't have a lot of faith in, and Light is a very strong player, but you know, I'm gonna go with my heart here. Predict that Jadong and Shine will make it through. Group F is another hotly contested group, and there's a great story here between Mind and Stork. Stork with the 2-0 over Mind on day one is a serious confidence booster for the King of Silver, but I imagine Mind is busy right now plotting his revenge and looking to put Stork on his ass for the fourth straight round of 24. JYJ is a scary contender, but I haven't seen much of his performance lately, so it's tough to say for sure whether he can get out. There's also the wild card Free, who could create some upsets for us. My tentative prediction for this group would be Mind and JYJ making it out, because I do put a lot of stock in Mind's ability to prep strategies for his opponents. That's it guys, and the fun will begin on August 26th with Group A. If you're looking for people to hang out with and chat about SSL or StarCraft in general, come check out my Discord channel. There's a link in the description. Let me know what your predictions are in the comments down below. And if you like this video, make sure to share it with your friends so we can get more eyes on content like this, so I know to keep making it for upcoming seasons. Thanks for all the support, and thanks to my Patreon supporters. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.